So what is your assessment of the state of the, de the Democratic uh, Party's hopes in the election as it stands today? Well, it's going to be a very close election, no question about that. I know that uh, everybody is concerned about one issue as opposed to another. Uh, we can't run away from age. Age is uh, a process we cannot end or we should not uh, end. We have to make those adjustments. We know uh, that the Republicans have time and time again decided that they are going to step away from our pursuit of a more perfect union. That's what we've been about since the beginning of the country, doing the things that are necessary uh, to pursue perfection. Uh, we've come through slavery. We've come through Jim Crow. We've come through a lot. And we have always been in pursuit of that uh, uh, perfection. All right. I often quote Alexis de Tocqueville, who said way back in the 1800s, America's greatness is not that it is more enlightened than any other nation, but rather it has always been able to repair its faults. And that's what Joe Biden has been doing. He took over an economy that was in the ditch, and he has brought this country back. He has done things that was promised for four years. You remember uh, re, uh, what do we call it? Infrastructure Week right. and Infrastructure Month, and never got a single day of infrastructure. What did Joe Biden do? He has put on the biggest infrastructure bill since Dwight Eisenhower's Interstate Highway. Understood. And he's done that. Understood. All across the board. Congressman, so I though, think you... we're going to be in a very good place when these primaries are over. Congressman, uh, just to tick off some issues. One, I don't think it's just about age. I think it's about stage. You got to be in your late 50s now, and you're very much on your game. Uh, so it's not just about the number. It's about how somebody is performing. Nobody's talking about your age, right? Because uh, you get it done every time you're at bat. So I think it's more of a stage issue than just simply age. But let's put that to the side because it's not my primary concern. My primary concern are the optics that you just laid out. The counter argument is, no, I'm getting killed at the grocery store, Congressman. I'm getting killed at the grocery store on Biden's watch. I'm getting killed with inflation. Uh, and on the culture side, uh, half your party is crazy. And I feel that so much that I believe I can pick off some of these black female 40s, 50s, culturally conservative uh, voters that feel there has not been delivery for too long on the Democratic watch. Do you think there's any chance that that happens? And if so, can you still win? I don't think that's going to happen simply because I don't think the facts are being discussed properly. Let me give you one you just mentioned. Go ahead. Yes, food prices are up. But the price of medicine is way down. My late wife struggled with diabetes for 30 years. I saw her insulin bill, $800 a month sometimes. Now, for everybody on Medicare, and she was on Medicare, that's going to be capped at $35 a month. So if you look at the total picture, then you got to look. We're getting jobs we never had before. Black unemployment is at the lowest it's been in over 40 years. That's a fact. And you look at the cost of medicine. Now, uh, you can negotiate Medicare we can now negotiate for the price of medicine. So food prices may be up on one hand, the price of medicine way down on the other, jobs are being created. Mm. We are uh, seeing chips uh, under the Chips and Science Act. Everywhere you go in South Carolina today, and Joe Biden didn't care about South Carolina, right. but South Carolina has benefited big time from Joe Biden's policies, mm. and they know it. Every highway that I cross these days got work being done. The bridges are being repaired. And we are seeing jobs being created. So I think that when this, these primaries are over, because we have a lot of side shows, we got a lot of things going on that will not be uh, around come November, 
And I think people will be focusing on the race. Well, and Joe Biden will be in good shape. Uh, understood. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.